Dragon Slayer. To prove himself a Dragon Slayer, Drakan must first defeat the Crystal Golem Dragon. From there, he will seek out the Azure Dragon, with plans of defeating the greatest dragon to ever live. In his quest for perfection, he will find and destroy the Purple and Rush Dragons. Crystal Dragons. To pass the test, you must first kill the Crystal. To pass the test, you must kill the Crystal Dragon. Fail to kill the dragon within two months, and you will not become a Dragon Slayer. Drakan, his skills, spells, experience, and remaining troops will transfer to the next scenario, along with the Diplomat's Ring. Drakan will be limited to level 8. Face the last challenge of becoming a Dragon Slayer. You must complete the test course in six months or fail the test. The Crystal Dragons will be well guarded. The paths washed by other creations. Golems, gargoyles, and elementals will try and stop you before you can kill the Crystal Dragon. Hey Nikita, <laughs> like this Minecraft type crowd. Sure. Yes, and we are back. Yep, deploring is a uh, quest already. Your mother has been training Dragon Slayers for as long as she can remember. It is now time that she train her only son. Your mother knows how smart you are, and therefore she can't give you any ordinary task. Approximately 30 or so years ago, your mother went to the Festival of Life. The events of the festival inspired her. She took Red Crystal End, with the idea of a golem in her head, created crystal dragons. She then set them loose in this little valley. The only thing going for you is your ability to train priests and mages into enchanters. You have control of a small valley, a small village. Your task is to kill the crystal dragons with the troops given to you, so you can prove to your mother and to everyone else you are ready to be a dragon slayer. The task is great, so be careful. Well, you guys might think it's 10 minutes of restarting. But it's not, because I already made a save. Joke's on all of you. <laughs> this is also why I wanted to go a little earlier before, so I could do this off stream. So here's the spell book the mage guild we will be starting with. I got three of the four things I wanted. Forgetfulness, Berserk, and Blind. The only thing I would have wanted more than this is Resurrect, because you can't get slow in the first scenario. But we can get Resurrect later before we actually need it, because we don't technically need it until the Crystal, uh, Fairy Dragon scenario. Because out of all this army, the only army I actually care about is the Titans. So here he is, Drakan. Considered by many to be a magical genius, Drakan seeks to become history's greatest dragon slayer. Unlike his fellow wizards, Drakan eschews decorative attire for more practical battle gear. So as you can see, he starts with Pathfinding, Wisdom, and Sorcery. Uh, there is no way to pull up my commands. Okay. I purposely don't have that turned on. <laughs> Comrades. And Sorcery. He will get all four of the magic schools, because Dracon is a wizard, Harry. And the eighth slot I want to be Intelligence. This is Earth Magic. The four types are labeled by the four elemental types that are here. So this is Earth, Water, air, and fire. Hey, Tikasada. It's one heck of an army. We well, have one heck of a set of battles ahead of us. So we only get to level 8 in this scenario. <laughs> the four spell schools live together in harmony until the Kriegan nation attacked. <laughs> now, I love this campaign. It really is my second favorite campaign. It combines a snow theme and tower theme. Two of my favorite themes in this entire game. <laughs> it's great. And it lets you play as a spellcaster, which not enough campaigns do. Like a pure spellcaster build. Oh, whoops, I forgot to. Forgot one thing. Trickon can level up his enchanters. His mage to enchanters. 
And how could I not take advantage of that? Even though it does technically make us slower. They're just- they're enchanters, man. This is fucking cool. <laughs> Wrong button. There's intelligence, which I don't believe I got the last time I played this. Yeah, so the idea here is to get wisdom to max level. <clears throat> if you can get earth magic to expert, you do. Because, I mean, it's expert earth magic. I, I think that goes without saying. Why you would want to do that? Uh, I'd rather just do it during some downtime in one of the streams, Noki. That's alright with you. Gem is not a spellcaster, she's a shitty hero. Hey Zealot, yep, <laughs> it's one of the best campaigns. <clears throat> hey Humphrey Roger, how long did it take to roll skills? We got them all first try. Just loaded it up and got them all. I mean, look at that. No, what actually happened was when I, went, when I left earlier, I started rolling for it myself off stream, so I had a save ready. And we're just using that. Lying on the ground are small cracked shards of red crystal. Recognizing the shards, you figure the crystal dragons must not have been pleased that their minions failed to stop you. Smirking to yourself, your confidence grows. You are ready for this, so you tell yourself. Alright, Expert Earth, Expert Wood. Wisdom and Intelligence, which I didn't get the last time I played this. Alright, so I really just ran out all this way to pick up this. Always take knowledge. I always do anyway, just out of habit, but really in this campaign, always take knowledge. I mean, it'll make life easier on yourself. Alright, so we got Earth. Let's go snag water. Let's get my spells. Greed is one of the seven deadly sins. Get some air magic. 
Snag fire magic, we're now done with the secondary skills. And we move on. As you are sitting down by the morning fire, you remember the words of your mother. If you get lost, put your right or left hand on the wall and follow the wall until you get to your destination. Because she's his mother, he's got to have a deep voice as well. No TP or resurrection. Could be better. I mean, the only one I really missed was resurrection. I don't need TP until... I guess the third scenario, yeah. What are the other six deadly sins? Playing Hoda. <laughs> Thank you, Curl. I saw the first time, and the second time, that you would rather take logistics than water. Congratulations. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you want me to tell you, dude. Lying on the ground are small cracked shards of red crystal. Recognizing the shards, you figure the crystal dragons must not have been pleased that their minions failed to stop you. Smirking to yourself, your confidence grows. You are ready for this, so you tell yourself. So obviously we want to make a buff Drakan, which means... Oops, didn't realize we lost him. Which means picking up all the stat boosts. I'm picking up the mines for the end. Obviously we can't build anything in Camp Tricon, and I'm leaving a lot of resources on the ground anyway. But at the end, there's a reason to pick up these mines. Not all teleporters lead to the place you seek. Mirth. Something came to you last night. You couldn't sleep, and so you decided to take a little walk. On your walk, you remembered the last piece of advice that your mom ever gave you. She said that a ring of a that the ring of a diplomat will brighten your future.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> A throng of storm Ellie's. And I'm just gonna take the results, I don't care. <laughs> You don't need Berserker, you don't need logistics at all, you don't need a lot of things at all! What part of I'm playing this the way I want to play it? Have you not understood in any of these games? <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Peter. He gets it. We're doing it because Dracon is a wizard! He's a wizard, Harry! <laughs> What's our time limit now? Two months, I believe. Long ago it was that powerful wizards mean powerful artifacts. Now that man just wants the hat of a spellbinder. As you approach the clearing, you notice there are several ways to go. Not knowing which way is the correct way, you, sp you decide to spin a bottle and go the way the bottle stops. Well, actually, it's very easy to know which way is the correct way. Because there's only three two-way monoliths. <laughs> so you're bound to get one of them. Alright, Horde of Diamond Golems. It's boats and hoes, yeah man.
Obsidian goggles and she. Alright, that's as buffed as we can make him in this scenario. Into the black market before the thieves steal everything. On your way to the tryhard market, you stumble across a camp. As you approach, you notice that the people in the camp aren't friendly. Realizing only too late you aren't welcome anywhere near their camp, you look around to see that you are surrounded. Not wanting to fight, you bribe your way out. Damn tryhards. Here they are, several crystal dragons.
<laughs> they ran out of portals, clearly. <laughs> there was a knowledge helm, why leave it? I don't need it. I don't carry it over. Arm of them, clearly. Hey, Saber Blue, welcome to the stream. And hey, Tanjoni, put them down! I was fast and furious. Indeed. Hey, Dark McSharp. You fucking noob, mate. Rush dragons. Rush dragons have invaded the area, halting mine production. Flag all of the mines within six months, but do not lose the Dragon Slayer or your calls will be lost. Drakan, his skills, spells, and experience up to level 24 will carry over to the next scenario. Rush dragons have taken to feeding from the mines near the town of Ogre. These uncommon beasts have chased off the peasantry and now their livelihoods are in jeopardy. As a hero, I should do this for the town's people. Yet I do this to hone my skills. Where rust dragons abound, the Azura may be nearby. I honestly consider the first one to be the worst of the four. If I'm being perfectly honest. The people of Prakata have kept the Krulatians at bay by controlling the mines. Now Rush Dragons have taken control and all of this land's resources will be gone in six months. The people are in need of help and your skills could use some sharpening. Mm -hmm. And they're slow. Castle Asinius, north. Castle Talarinde, east. Enough cure.
this is one of the most interesting campaigns. Yeah, it's the second. It's my second most favorite uh, campaign. <laughs> Hello, Agent. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't... No, 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 that's not a paid promotion. Dave's just a bro. And deserves it. Hey, Mike Jones. Are we supposed to have to go for capital first? Is that a new strat? Yes, yes it is. Federal Observatory next to the edge of the map. Classic, indeed. <laughs> yes, capital rush is, is definitely a new strat. It's hard to break it to you. As you approach the pond, you are almost run down by an avalanche of prospectors. At a quick glance, you notice how you take notice of how battered and broken the people are. Not wanting the people to suffer any longer, you quickly run in to slay the dragons who are tormenting them. And it's a maxi. You did, Bokail. This is where resurrection in the first scenario would have been nice. Hey, Thousand. Well, your friend should know that if you build army first, you can get the capital. Much castle like true combat. Should have used sorrow, clearly. It's to my sorrow that I did not. Hey, <laughs> After a few drinks, you and your troops start to exchange war stories. One of the tales that was told stuck out in your head. Unfortunately, after all of the drinking, you only remember some of it. The words that got stuck in your head were, Collar of Conjuring. Great riches. Not wanting to make a habit of getting drunk every night, you decide to go to sleep early. Your night was anything but restful. Sometime in the night, you started to have a dream. You surprisingly remembered much of it. You remembered seeing yourself fighting a blue dragon, awesome in size. What really caught your eye, though, was the crown you were wearing. It was the crown of Dragon Tooth. Realizing what you must do to get it, you set out in search of the crown.
It's right over there. But we can't get it, because we didn't do this fairy jacket scenario first. That was supposed to be. I'm supposed to be going for expert water. Notice how you built the army first and still got the capital in roughly the same amount of time that you would have anyway. To the person who asked that question. Oh, son of a bitch! When we get no save speed run, go watch Own Ninja. It only took him, you know, ten times as long. Expert water, alright. Clutch pick up there, boys. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong first spell. <laughs> I was wondering why they weren't moving so far. There you go. Should've slown, should've slown, should've 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 should 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 slown.
Ho ho! Yay! Hey, Klonga. Yes, we are Drakon. We got Arthur. This is the time for landmine. No. Hey, Zealander. Complete a thon rolls on. Yes, it does. And hey, Savu. It rolls on. I wanted to finish off Armageddon, all the Armageddon's Blade campaigns today. It certainly seemed doubtful that that's going to happen, but you know, we'll press on. See how far we get. Morale for us. Craig Schmack. He returns.
Fifteen B, he's easy, yeah, man. Dracon, more like Dracon on these nuts. Ha, got him. I was gonna say, there is absolutely a tower town up here. <laughs> Knock knock AI. Here I come. Oh, they didn't even take the taupe yet. But it's a ram's taupe. Oh, Dave skill armor! Yeah! Look at these kids. Look at these kids trying to prepare. These kids dying to morale. Shiva. Yep, nope. Never played any of these campaigns before. Clearly. <laughs> Easy armor. What does armor do? It makes you look like Dave, which and he's the best hero three player in the world, so that's what you want. That's why it's called Dave Scale Armor. <laughs> Rush dragons. Why do I hear boss track? <laughs> boss music. Hey, Killor. No, I'm not. I don't speed run heroes, sir. I speed run Majesty. That I'm the world record holder. Thank <laughs> you. 
Notice how, and then it's just in uh, fights here. There's no moat anymore on uh, the stronghold towns, but there's extra terrain on the outside that you have to maneuver around. This was an early build of castle defenses. With SOD Obvies being the final build. Isn't this basically a speedrun? No, I'm just playing through it. I don't think the Majesty one is unofficial, fam. Pretty, pretty sure we got that one. <laughs> now, until you show me someone else who beat the entire game in four and a half hours, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay pretty confident about that. Had to be somewhere. And purple has been vanquished. Easy peasy AI squeezy. But you're doing it quickly. Well, yeah, because I've done this before. Unless it's on speedrun.com, it's official. Yeah, well, blow me. Oh wait, your mother already does that. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Hello, me old chums! Is this right? Enjoy the tower theme, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I'm doing it quickly because I played the mouse before, and don't worry guys, I washed my hands. Uh, and no it's not, and I, I'm not saying it's a Guinness World Record, I'm saying it's the fastest speedrun! <laughs> it's the fastest anyone's ever played the game! Like, <laughs> Do you believe there are people that are trying to beat this game faster than you are? Hero 3? Absolutely! Krell brags about it all the time. 
What difficulty is this on? Uh, this scenario is on Queen difficulty. I don't switch the Armageddon's Blade or, or, or Restoration of Wrathia once, but from this point forward, once we finish all the Armageddon's Blade campaigns, difficulty will be selected to be the hardest until I stop having fun and then I'm putting it to, what it's ever, to whatever it's supposed to be played at. Actually, I'm eating. Uh, that's exactly what I'm eating, Killer Roy. Ah, ah, ah. No, nah, I'm eating Tootsie Rolls. I need some sugar. Keep me up. Wow, now that is a Dave Tope, ladies and gentlemen. Still no lookout tower, nope. Didn't mean to take this fight. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is this is gonna take too long. I can win it by cloning the bees, but I don't. I, I, this is gonna take way too long. Oh come on! <laughs> Click the wrong button. I know, right? It's the Adidas Tope. Now we can water walk without taking any ma using up any spell points. That's all the town almost all the towns. Start making our way back. Shit. 
Chain Lightning! Every time. Make game look like RTS. It's weird. <laughs> Read that one. Alright, so let's just start clearing the map. <laughs> it's played because of anti vax. You're true, you're right. All, right. All those anti vaxxers. No, Resurrection was in the other town. I, I don't need that one Titan. Cause your idea is flat! Indeed. Hey, Barbaric Monkey, welcome to the stream.
All this up behind guards is to prevent DDO DDing over them. Yeah, but you still do it over here. <laughs> What building spell? I, you want to know what building a mage guild might give us? I don't know, man. I don't know. Whatever might it give us? Alright, now we have Resurrection. Four twenty twelve points! What does the Mage Guild give us for a spell? I, I mean, spells. I, it, it, I don't know exactly what it's going to give us. Hey, Karna, welcome to the stream. It all goes so fast. I mean, there's not much that needs to be... I don't need to really pause at all. It's I'm building up mage guilds and running around the map flagging the mines. That's all there really is left. Go nice and slow with the Nagas. I mean, I'm trying to get through all the campaigns tonight, so... I, I, I won't be waiting up. I mean, my issue is, I've done explanations of this stuff plenty of times. I don't see how this needs to be explained. It seems pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> As you enter the crystal mine, you hear death-filled stream. Death-filled screams that would make any other man go mad. You head towards a faint light that looks to be deep within the cave. As you approach the light, you see a dragon holding a man. It turns his head towards you and in a faint whisper says, Help us! So we did. If I don't pick this up now, I'm going to forget it. Level 20 I'm on. There it is. Alright, fuck all this. Gotta go get Town Portal while the getting's good. Hmm. <laughs> 
It has been a long trek through the mountains and trees. Up ahead of you is the gem pond that the dragons are said to have taken control of. Just as you are about to break through the trees, you feel the sting of acid on your shoulder. You look up just in time to see that the dragons are attacking you. Still gonna level these up, it's just not as imperative. Got the one I was looking for. Level 22. On your travels, you come across a very old man lying on the ground. With a bandage over his head and a sling around his neck, he looks to be unconscious, if not dead. Closing your eyes and shaking your head, you decide to rid the land of the dragons that did this. Yeah, put him down! <laughs> no DD limit equals balance. There's one, there's four. Set all campaigns. How long would that take you? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we started at Heroes 1 about 10 days ago. Had to think about it. And we're almost done Heroes 3. While you are hiking through the mountains, you see a glint of reddish orange in the not too distant sky. As you walk up to the gold mine, you feel a slight breeze. Seeing the dragons land, you smile at your precise timing. Nobody but the dragons will get hurt this time, you tell yourself. Yeah! Put them down, Drakon! Put them down! I don't want to skip it. As you walk towards the entrance, you notice it is unusually quiet. Then just before you enter the cave, two dragons appear out of nowhere and block you from passing, from pressing on. Then as you turn to back up a little to give yourself some fighting room, you are surrounded from behind. And he lost. Because Drakon's a little bitch and couldn't fight the fucking dragons. Tom 3 is a known game. Yeah, I mean... There's, there's not much I need to really do here <laughs> that I haven't done already, considering I've done all the campaigns three times already. Three times through. We are ready for Winds of War already. Mongo! Great, great barbarian from the north.
As you approach the mine, you notice that it is very, very quiet. <laughs> it's supposed to say quiet, obviously. We're gonna have to take the next couple of these fights, the ones with lots. <laughs> Feels like a user-made map, to be honest. No, it doesn't. Not as many stupid puzzles. That's a good point, Trade, and we could totally do that. Or not, because I apparently don't have Counter Strike. In terms of lore, ah, uh, eh. I have 1.6. Zero got it for me one year when it was on sale.
Interesting. <laughs> Might greater than magic. Oh. That's what I like about this campaign, though. It doesn't have to be that way. And hello, Tom Nap. Three nine attack by the way, just wanna throw that out there. Hey, PP Eagle. Nice obstacle RNG here yeah, for once. Imagine if fairy dragons had the obstacle. The ability to cast or remove obstacle or someone but Yeah, that would be it. Yeah. Real implosion!
defense, negative one. We play skeleton and lich only run. Of this? No! What the hell am I gonna pull that off? Oh my god. They both got morale. Well, I don't run this game, so... That was such a bruh moment here. Bruh! Alright, are we done with the super guards? The smell is excruciating, but excruciatingly bad. The sun is beating down on the blood covered sul covering the sulfur. The dragons have done a number here. It was time to find the dragons and rectify the situation.
Azark. <laughs> it was an unlucky imp. That just got demon farm. Might as well just go around the towns at this point. We still have to get all the stat boosts by these stronghold towns. There was something there. Crystal Valley. How the guard sizes of the rush dragons don't change as the uh, time goes along, like normal guards. It took you all day to get to the sawmill. Then again, the people in the nearby village said it would. The sun was just setting below the horizon when you spotted the dragons that put all the people in the nearby village out of work. After taking a hefty breath, you set out to kill the dragons. It's this town. Ochre. I don't know, I saw... Well, it gave us an attack boost, ruined our perfect stat. That's it. <laughs> so this will be the last turn. Okay, finally got Counter Strike too. 
At least this will be the last turn unless I missed one. Or can't reach. Oh, that's it. Easy. <laughs> yes, first try, unsurprisingly. Or actually, to some of you, maybe that is surprising, <laughs> considering the mess chat messages I've gotten. Everyone's favorite mission. I mean, I enjoy this one the most in the campaign. Dragons. Fairy dragons. You have six months to find and defeat the fairy dragons to cleanse this territory. If Drakan dies, the quest is over. Drakan, his skills, spells, and experience up to level 24 will carry over to the next scenario. Now seeking the famed and elusive Azure dragons. You hear of sightings to the west. Following the, the leads, you find only a mischievous fairy dragon playing tricks on the locals. Disappointed at first, but soon you discover there are several such dragons, and they're relocating towns, maidens, and generally mucking about. This should prove challenging enough for you. They're relocating maidens. Just wanna, just wanna reiterate that one. I have never seen a fairy dragon. Little is known about these notorious troublemakers. What is known is found more in storybooks than magical tomes. Some say they are invisible. Some say they can cast spells. Some say they are only three feet high. Some say they are the henchmen of the Azure Dragons. I do not know what to expect or how my skills will be tested. Nevertheless, the more I know, the better I will be prepared for the Azure Dragons. Damn right, Puda. Even though none of you nerds wanted to uh, host with me. It has come to your attention there are fairy dragons lurking about somewhere on the western border. Feeling you could use the practice before taking on the Azure Dragons, you have decided to help the people of Prakata rid themselves of the threat. If the fairy dragons aren't disposed of within six months, then they will destroy every village along the coast. Just shortly after you leave the castle, you see a man lying on the ground, trying his hardest to get back to the castle. Being the honorable person you are, you decide to help him. It takes you about an hour or so to take him back to his house, but just as soon as you are sure that he is home and safe, you turn to leave. As you reach for the door, the old man regains consciousness and tells you the reason he was so hurt. He said he and the rest of his party, who are now dead, were ambushed on the road to the great redwood tree. After long hours of walking down this path, you approach a redwood observatory. Sitting at the base of the observatory, you see some swordsmen. As you approach them, you notice their archers have already notched their arrows, and are about to fire. You wonder what you have done to upset them. I didn't do nothing. I'm 
I'm sure this is the only time we're going to see NEGA Queens in this scenario. Because if they breathe, they're NEGA Queens! Reaching the base of the Redwood Observatory, you see why these men attacked as they did. Smacking yourself in the face, you told you tell yourself that you should have known they were protecting something. She got in the fuck out of my way. Move, bitches. Get out the way. Get out the way, fuckers. Get out the way. Move, bitches. <laughs> hey, Taika. It's an ambush. Might or magic? Magic or might? Hey, Rose. Ah, oh, what, Rose? You mad we took out them negas? Open the box! Open the box! Yeah! Bam! Castle and Giants week one. As you approach the box, you hear a faint whisper in your left ear. Good luck with this one! Shrugging the sound off as the wind, you decide to open the box. You peek inside. Relieved, you discover the box is empty. As you are traveling down the road, you and your army come across an old lady that says she can foretell your future. Not being a spoil sport, you decide to give the old lady some gold in return for a palm reading. What the old lady tells you is quite surprising. The celestial necklace of bliss will be of great help in your near future. Feeling the old lady earned her money, you watch as she walks off smiling to herself. I don't think she earned her money. Get her back, put her to the sword. On to the next one, boys. Who would have thought one of the best artifacts in the game would be useful? I know, right? As you are walking through the forest, you come across a box. You have seen these boxes before and quickly decide not to open it. After you take a few steps away from the box, you realize curiosity just got the better of you. So you turn around and reach your hand out to open it. Suddenly, a leprechaun jumps out of the forest and sits on the lid, not letting you open it. Not really understanding what just happened, and having never seen bef never before seen a leprechaun, you just sit there and study him. After a few long moments, he breaks the silence. I am Eric, and who might you be? While you are telling him your name, you wonder what this little guy is up to. I know what is going on here, laddie. Knowing this, I wanted to give you some advice. Don't, under any circumstances, open this box says the leprechaun as you pass the side of the box. Then right before you are about to ask him why you shouldn't open the box, the leprechaun disappears in a puff of smoke, leaving you, leaving only you and the box. And we still open the box, because there's a dick in the box. <laughs> Can't help that.
Wanting to get as much space between you and the fairy dragons, you hurry on down the path, turning your head to see how much distance is already between you and that... that... thing. You see that you are approximately 50 paces away. As you turn your head back to the road, you nearly fall to the ground with surprise as the leprechaun appears directly in front of you. I told you so, said the leprechaun. Come on, what did I say? Say it with me now. Don't, under any circumstances, open this box. Well, you didn't listen to me, did you? Hehe, <laughs> next time you will listen. The leprechaun laughs. Again, right before you can ask the leprechaun any questions, he disappears, leaving behind a four-leaf clover. Eric the Fairy Dragon, clearly. Does Draconic have Pathfinding? He does. He starts with Pathfinding. That's why I don't mind using the Enchanters. If he didn't, I wouldn't be using Enchanters. Or at least I wouldn't still be using Enchanters, I should say. Yeah, I mean, I still could, but I wouldn't want to. I'm going to switch over to Titans before I move on to the next fight anyway, but... <laughs> okay. I genuinely didn't know it worked that way. <laughs> That's pretty dumb. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> A swarm of master gremlins. No more master gremlins. That's for if this is the first scenario you do. After finishing the first scenario, or the second scenario you do in this campaign, I should say. And we have the Collar of Conjuring. An Implosion Scroll, even though we already have Implosion. <laughs> Once the Pendant of Life was used to keep evil at bay. Recently, it was stolen. Rumor has it that the person who brings the Pendant of Life back to the owner will receive great riches. Oh yeah...
all three shots. Jesus, <laughs> that fortune. It's a bug. Well, I assumed as much. It clearly wasn't supposed to work that way. <laughs> shmore, shmore, shmore. Again, I found the next town. I don't care at all about enchanters now. Time to go tell we're back for Titans. Back to yesterday. Get it? Because the town's called Ayer! Oh! I'll always laugh at my own joke. We open the box. We kill what was in the box. We get the treasure out of the box. Trogolodite population doubles next to the box. But all of this doesn't stop us from taking the box! Yeah! Do me like that. How the game gonna do me like that? We open the box. We're attacked from the box. Our spirits rise from the box. We get treasure from the box. Down now, comrades! Hey, Deathcrypt, welcome to the stream. They're loyal viewers, not mods. Back before Azures. Yeah, I, if you were gonna be back that quickly, I don't know what you were worried about. Okay, let's try this again. Says the Leprechaun as he appears a little off to your left. It doesn't surprise you anymore that the Leprechaun just appears. So you talk to him like he has been there all along. Let me guess. Don't open the box. Hey, you get drunk quick, said the leprechaun, again disappearing. As you think of how weird all of this is, you shake your head. You decide to put up with the little leprechaun, remembering that your ultimate goal is to kill the fairy dragons. But the fairy dragons say, fuck you. <laughs> That's where just not getting a turn. Unless I split them all the way up. Can we stop doing that, please?
<laughs> wrecked. The Titans were wrecked. And now it's time to get the squirrel! <laughs> squirrel! The leprechaun appears before you, shaking his head and laughing to himself. Expecting the leprechaun about now, you look at him and ask him what he is laughing at. Do you purposely not pay any attention to anyone? Said the leprechaun again, laughing to himself. Not feeling like listening to him, you walk. Excuse me, you walk right past him, thinking if you ignore him, he will go away. Sure does may, he doesn't go away. He just walks with you, lecturing on why you should listen to him. After hours and hours of listening to him, you come to the conclusion you are really getting tired of his antics. So you turn around angrily, and attempt to take his head off with the back of your hand. But the instant your hand makes contact with his body, he disappears. He irritated you so much that you actually start mumbling to yourself as you continue your journey to find the fairy dragon. M -m -m my Corona. M -m -m my Corona. M -m 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 my, 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 my Corona. M -m -m my Corona. M -m -m my Corona. M -m -m my Corona. Wow! <laughs> Not gonna lie, they had you in the first half. Right, we gotta get more titans, that's our last break until uh, the real fun begins. That town is. Because then it's gonna be a while until we get to another pause on the map. Ha ha ha. Yeah, here you got one. Hey, so I feel bad for Jakan. He's so relatable. All I ever wanted and worked for, his victory, will be hollow. And he must continue with his sad life. My victory is hollow. Now I will continue with my sad life. As you are walking through the forest, you see a big box barring your entrance to the clearing up ahead. Remembering what happened the last time you opened a box similar to this, you hesitate, deciding whether to open the box or leave it alone. But when you peek inside, the box is empty. Bum bum bum. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. We go to the desert and get such. A bone dragon. They really were in the refugee camps. I thought they were just kids' tales.
2,000 Master Gremlins. Thirty nine attack again, ladies and gentlemen. Those are set to join you, by the way. Say it again. Will you? Will you? A pack of naggers! More naggers! Surely those are the most naggers we're gonna see. Hey Tim. Why haven't you been using DD this map? I wonder why. Yeah, we won the last one, Klonga. We're on the next one. Why even restrict levels past when spells are maxed? I don't know, man. We really need 39 defense, though. Indeed, indeed. What's that unflagged green structure in Enchanter's Hollow? Mm hmm. Ever played this campaign without picking up the magics from Witch Hut? Uh, yeah, I mean, I did it without fire magic once. I don't know why I would really want to do it without the rest, though. It seems kind of boring. Also, this was meant to be played this way, or meant to be played with all the magics, like you're meant to be a powerful spellcaster. I like playing it as a powerful spellcaster. <laughs> Nagas, yeah man. Can you just not use it on this map? Yeah, you can't use DD on this map. I wonder why. I say you told me about the blue blue sky. Oh yeah?
Alright, here's some Nagas down here. That should be an easy fight. Probably just a pack. You know, lots. It, it definitely won't be a lot of Nagas. I mean, we just fall 70 to get in here. Oh my god! It's a legion of Nagas! You should play as Nagash. Just try Didi. Maybe it'll work this one time. Damn it. Oops. Forgot to emerge the Titans. Alright, so there are multiple ways to go about doing this fight. You can use Berserk, you can use well, a lot of things. I prefer this way. <laughs> no mirth, really. You can see why people like to use Berserk. Either way, just make sure you have an ammo cart. And you reached. <laughs> Bless clones, I did. Give it time. Hard fight, hard fight. Minus two crystal. Ow. I mean, you gotta take those fights. They're supposed to be the challenging ones. Alright, 
I really don't need other heroes though. Throw me off on what I picked up and what I haven't. Alright, so this entire area is optional. It literally just serves as a, hey, you want to buff your stats <laughs> a little bit more? Well then here you go. Since the time limit on this map means nothing to me, well, we can clearly get away with it. Here's some fun fights. Nice boxes. Need to hurry, time is running against you, clearly. I, I don't know what you just wrote, Klonga. <laughs> Blind the Titans, yes, Kythers. Let us hope that the fairy dragons don't learn how to do that. You know, that, would, that would be the end of it. We would never be able to recover. As you approach the garrison, you know. Sorry. As you approach the garrison, you notice there is no activity whatsoever. Standing in the bushes a short distance away from the garrison, you ponder what is happening. Finally, you open the. You see the garrison gates open, and two fairy dragons walk through the gate, then disappear into thin air. Ah! You think to yourself, you should have known. You stride towards the garrison, telling yourself it is time to rid this land of the fairy dragons once and for all. Just as you start to head toward the garrison, you stop and start to wonder where the sorry excuse for a leprechaun is now. Lightning, though.
Oh, Rose, if you're still here, um, is, uh, the Heroes plugin you gave me a while ago, SP Heroes 3 or whatever it was, is that still, uh, updated? Or am I gonna have to go find, like, a better version of it? Did I miss it? What? <laughs> there it is. Didn't know you could avoid this. Are Earth Elementals completely immune? Yeah, they're not. The AI is just dumb. Like, you can't use Lightning Bolt on them, so it takes away most of it. But if they cast a Meteor Shower, that would hurt. There's been a few new versions. Alright, but if I... Mm -hmm. Could you link me the new version? The newest version? If it's there to stay. I'm not saying I'll end up using it at the end of Heroes Completeathon, but there's a chance that the map you gave me it to use might be attempted again. And I figure while you're here I might as well ask. As you step, th as you step through the garrison, you see a faint shimmer just over the small hill that lies in front of you. You know who is there. You just wonder if there is another way around the hill. Coming to, a con to the conclusion there isn't, you venture forth. As you top the hill, you see the leprechaun, and notice he is waving at you. The leprechaun strides forward, coming to a stop directly in front of you. I figured that you sensed it wouldn't listen to me anyway. I wouldn't bother to warn you about the fairy dragons that were guarding the garrison, said the leprechaun. Thank you very much. It was actually pleasant with you not there. Losing your patience with the leprechaun. If you are going to be like that, then I won't tell you that one fairy dragon got away, and is now returning with more, said the leprechaun again, disappearing like he wasn't here to begin with. Open carefully! You suck. Could you, uh, whisper me that, Rose? I'm not gonna remember to look back for it. Wrecked shot. Every map in this campaign is against the expansion dragons? Yes, it is. Thanks, Rose. I appreciate it. Easy treasure. Twenty, uh, sorry, ten good titans.
It is six, right? Yeah. Manufactory. What was it mod for? It restores Heroes 3 to the way it was it used to be, and then I believe Rose added some other stuff to it. I'm remembering correctly. Finally made it to another town. It says it in there, if I recall correctly. So many titans, yeah, man. Actually, I think it's Naga Queens I needed. Because all Nagas are Queens. Ouch, this one's gonna hurt. Yes, it does. Visiting a local wise man, you explain the intent of your journey. He reaches into a chest and withdraws a strange pair of boots, which he hands to you. Yeah. Good day, Ardavar. As the wind blows through the trees, you think you hear laughter, but then you shake your head, figuring it is only imagination. And then we won. No, I'm purposely choosing knowledge. For the last scenario of this campaign. Since in the last scenario of this campaign, you don't get the option. Oh, you don't get any spell points back. Come on.
20 Naga Queens. Alright, that was right. So we're gonna have some fun. One box gives you riches, the other chosen We chose the wrong one. <laughs> Well, you'll see exactly what we mean, Klonga. Not skilling mysticism with Jakan. Yeah, how dare we. One box riches, the other not riches. Excellent, you have found the 20 Naga Queens and 10 Titans. And now she has no army. <laughs> Had to do it to him. As you walk towards the town, you notice it is abandoned. Perhaps you can turn this town into something nice, you think to yourself. Unfortunately, you are so deep in thought you don't notice you are surrounded by fairy dragons. After you beat the fairy dragons, you look around only to notice the image around wavers. Then just as quickly as it began, the illusion disappeared. Looking around you again, you notice the town wasn't abandoned at all. It was actually a prospering city. And it still falls. Fully built, though. a close fight. <laughs> no losses, and yet we lost. <laughs> Dragons. 
A second skull helmet. I don't know that we've ever actually explored the water before. So, here's what it looks like. Let's go grab what I have available. I shan't need more than that. Wrong of Naga Queens. Well, surely that's the most Naga Queens we're going to see in this one. 20 soul power for the Ogre's Club of Havoc. Indeed. Now we have 50 attack. Oh, yeah! It's a legion of Naga Queens. Because all Nagas are Queens. Easy fight. <laughs> After the disorienting feeling of the teleporter wears off, you start down the path. You come across a leprechaun sitting on what looks to be a very old stump. Hello again, says the leprechaun with a grin on his face. Hello, you said, wondering why he isn't mad that you tried to take his head off with your bare hands. All of your wondering ceases when you see the leprechaun shimmer and fade away. Where once one leprechaun sat, now three sets of fairy dragons sit. Realizing this dragon has been playing with you all this time, you look at the fairy dragons, wondering which is the real one. And it's very easy to find out which is the real one. Just as you are about to attack the dragon, you think you hear the leprechaun's voice in your ear. Are you sure this is the right one? Ha ha ha, this isn't the right one either. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't the right one! Which is code for, this is the right one. <laughs> if you defeat the other ones, nothing happens. You just have to continue the map. Living obstacle! Yeah, man. And there it is. I'll be right back.
Don't worry, guys, I washed my hands. He lied to us, comrades! And he died from us, comrades! Alright, final scenario. Azure Dragons. Defeat the Great Azure Dragons within six months. <laughs> Dragons within six months for eternal fame. Once you have slain this ancient beast, you will have proven yourself to be a Dragon Slayer extraordinaire. Failure means death of Dracon and eternal branding as a foolish child. Finally, you have tracked down the Azure Dragons. Now it is time to face the Great Dragon in their home territory. The locals are willing to join your cause, but the paths are guarded by dragons. Clear these paths, and you can gain support. The Azure Dragons are both mighty and elusive. Track them down and kill them before they move on to new territory. You estimate in six months, they will move again. Once you have gained their support, you can seek. You can then seek your prize. But where are the other dragons who guard the Azure, keeping out the faint-hearted and unworthy of such a challenge? I have found a nest of mighty Azure Dragons. I have also found my destiny. Destiny. Azure Dragons do not nest for long and command an entourage of dragons of all colors. The task is great, but I am determined. It is now time. You tell yourself as you prepare for the long journey. You have been waiting for this moment for a long time. Gathering all of the courage you can muster, you set out to face the last challenge that will make you the best dragon slayer of them all. The Azure Dragon. Only a thousand peasants have ever killed an Azure Dragon. Today, we seek to rewrite history. As you walk around, you notice that the towns around the base of the mountains are very primitive. They have no mage guilds whatsoever. It is then that you realize that you must use your magic wisely, for you have no way of recharging your mana. Which, for those of you who wondered earlier, is why I have been taking knowledge every single time that it has been offered. And look, Drakon can actually level up again. So we have exactly a thousand spell points coming into this one. We're going to use most of them in the towns, in the fights for the towns, before we even hit the mountains. Just saying that now. Catapult did a terrible job, just want to say. <laughs> And again, we want as buff of a Drakon as we can get. So now we're going to take spell power from all of them as well. 939 spell points! Let's go! One came in and it's like he knew! It's like I knew! I know I always end with extra anyway. That's why I am going nuts on the casting. That's, that's... It's like Persona... Oh wow, 5 to 9? No. It's like Persona at that point, you know? Get all those potions that restore your, your SP, but you never want to use it, or really, probably any RPG. Get all that stuff you use, you just save up, you don't want to use it in case you need it later, and then later comes, and you, you just never use it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ooh. 
we never come close to the time limit on this one. I'm gonna hope that stays the case. <laughs> Get fly from scroll so mad but stun fast. So yeah, let me just let me just whip that one out. We must find the Tog of the Rampaging Ogre. We got the Squirrel! Silver Spire! I definitely never got Fly in this scenario. <laughs> As a titan. Ah, we can get more. That one's been visited. Library of Enlightenment. Extra knowledge, even though I can't use it. And we keep calm and march on. Might have helped if I had that on. <laughs> Retreat? Nah, 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 nah. Find it for me. I don't remember that at all. And that definitely feels like something I would I would remember. <laughs> that that's pretty. <laughs> Map breaking.
should be all. Akina. Silver swag. Yeah. And Tyrath. Beware the foothills of the dragon. Which one is it the closest to? This one, Silver Spire. Plus seven attack skill, back to Tyrus. Place the Titan that fell, and we're off. You close your eyes and say a prayer to your god, realizing these might be your last steps on level ground for a long time, if ever. It's all right, boys. Lightbringer is ours. Oh! I stand corrected, Savu. I stand corrected. My apologies. <laughs> what are the odds? I'm not using it, but what are the odds? Back! <laughs> Bad! I mean, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you could get it. <laughs> Na 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 throng of green dragons. Immediately after the battle, you sit down for a rest. This is going to be harder than I thought, you think to yourself.
Oops. Keep trying. You'll know when you get there. A throng of enchanters. Throng of green dragons. <laughs> Fifty thousand gold. <laughs> After several days up the mountain, your army is getting restless. There have been many hard battles, and many people have died. No one has died. Your army's morale has been good up until now. Now they're starting to fear. The upcoming battle might be too much for them. After some rest, they agree to go on. I like this part. As you pass by the Medusa stones, you become aware that of some Medusas that have been sleeping behind the stones, awaiting some naive passenger to pass by. Chance meeting with a famous archer finds you in a game of knuckle bones, pitting his bow against your horse. You win. Maxi. Oh, the mystic orb. the uh, fight at the end is going to be fierce with how buff the game is making Drakan. Sweet terrain if you have teleport. Damn it. And a bunch of them like that. You know what I've forgotten to do? Travel around with an Arthur. Should have been doing it. Just for the maze. Ah, oh, we lost one. First loss. Well, actually, second loss of the map. <laughs> you and your army have made it this far. Morale has not been good, but your army has a newly found confidence. On the ground are deep blue scales, coated in blood. If it can bleed, then it can die. You think to yourself, knowing everyone else must be thinking the same thing. 39.
And the next town should be right here. Or right around here. Onward! To glory! Thirty-nine! Hey Rust, I think you forgot Arthur again. Nah, I didn't. There's just no reason to. Why even bother with all of these objects? Fill in the map, man. Come on. So that's not one of those boring challenge maps with nothing on it. Ninety-nine! Fifty, ninety-nine, ninety-nine. Your army has broken up the scales and split them between themselves. They now wear the scale pieces on their necks and on their armor is good luck. Everyone is still scared, but knowing something that is said to be unbeatable can be killed has brought morale up. Damn, Ryu, you gave up a run. What kind of an all-star are you? Sixty-nine attack. Oh yeah. Cap pa 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 pa. Welcome back, Novaya, but you're wrong. 
blue dragon dead yet? He's getting there. Have to slay all the other dragons first. It's like slay the mighty dragon. You can't just kill the one dragon. One does not simply slay the mighty dragon. Lots of black dragons. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> Kappa. There he is! They're up there! A swarm of gold dragons. Cause the boar is pregnant. Ah, oh, they were smart enough to use it. <laughs> Interesting move there by the dragons. Yeah, I was say if I recall correctly, this one's not leveled up. <laughs> Let's go, Arthur. Together, we're unstoppable. Name a more iconic duo than Arthur and Challenge Maps. I'll wait. Pretty Titans, that's nothing. One spell point teleports. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who are you guys talking about? That spot was below lake, I noticed. But I don't give a fuck. Onker. Look at how many spell points we're finishing this with. <laughs> I didn't even try and conserve them this time. <laughs> and it's only one. One, three, one. A horde of Azure Dragons. Hey, Jahanan. Is Arthur the guy who stumbles upon a Medusa in the intro? No, that's not an Arthur. That's an Archibald. Ha, <laughs> get it? Because he turned to stone. The 
The journey has been a long one, and now it is almost over. The only thing standing between you and your destiny is the Azure Dragon. Smiling to yourself, you ride on ahead to claim the victory that has been waiting for you for so long. Here we go. We are the last stand against our leader. You will not get by us. Spoilers. We get by him. Hey, Dave. No, I don't. I don't think I would enjoy that at all. It's not. It wouldn't be like Majesty. Like to me, this is as close as I'll get to ever speed running the campaign. So like, I'm good. <laughs> we played through it quite quick, uh, quite fast. I don't know what more I can. You can really ask me for here. <laughs> Bring Arthur back for the cutscene, and here we go. Seventy-three, thirty-four, forty-three, seventy-two. What a dracon! The great battle. It's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Well, well, Savu, what if I told you? What if I told you? We got fly again. <laughs> but thank you, Savu. I appreciate you looking it up. It was the same scholar, too. <laughs> <laughs> this better be the best. My victory is hollow, ever. Where'd you get it? The same scholar. The same exact guy. Right, here we go, boys. The final attack! And then the best cutscene in the game, right after. I have been watching your progress for some time now. Let's see what you are truly made of. Yeah! Put him down! Congratulations. You have completed your quest to kill the fearsome beast. And can claim victory. And then we kill more fearsome beasts! Yeah! <laughs> now they fight for us. understand why. I have accomplished what only the elite dream. In my private moments, I have felt this beast would be the key to unlock a long-sought personal contentment. I was wrong. My dissatisfaction stirs, and I wonder, what is next? I love that cutscene. My victory is hollow. <laughs> yeah, the BM3 extra. And Arthur survived! It's canon! Arthur survived the dragons! He's in the gutseed. Number 11, King Stannis, Dragon Slayer. 1555 score, Cyclops King.